up in the 1990s or early 2000s, I'm sure you've heard of the Disney Channel in one way or another. Although it's popular, the Disney Channel does not depict the most average lives of their characters, whether they're a teen psychic or a secret pop star. Still, the characters in these shows are very relatable, so the messages being represented in these shows are going to stick with the children watching and affect how they feel about certain topics. The effects of post-feminism, as discussed by cultural theorist Rosalind Gill, show themes that appear in post-feminist media that reflect gender inequalities, and I've noticed many of those themes in the Disney Channel shows that I loved growing up. These themes cover topics like how girls and boys are judged by the way they express their femininity or masculinity, and the idea of giving girls makeovers when they're told that they need to change. These messages enforcing gender stereotypes can be really damaging to their impressionable young viewers. I can even remember some of these sexist lines in the show's word for word because they really stuck out to me, so I can't be the only one that these messages stuck with. One episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody came to mind immediately when thinking about this. I'm making sure she doesn't eat and she's making sure I do. Why? Well, I need to fill out my dress more and she needs to fill out her dress less. are both so gorgeous. You sure you don't think I'm too skinny? Positive. You're perfect. And you don't think I'm too not skinny? Heck no. We'll go get the car. <laughs> what were we thinking? We're starving and stuffing ourselves. I know. It was so unhealthy and we didn't even need to do it. We should just be happy with the way we look. These habits are not something that they could have been talked out of as quickly as they were, and it shows that male affirmation is what changed their minds, sending a harmful message to the young girls who would be watching this and may also be struggling with body image issues. A show that deals with body image in a more positive way is That So Raven. When Raven's face was photoshopped onto a much thinner body, she was modeling a dress that she designed herself and was told that she would have to lose weight if she wanted to walk in the fashion show. I don't pay you to think this girl does not have the look. The look. Who says that's the only look? You make people feel bad if they don't look like that. No one looks like that. I don't even look like that. Because in case you haven't noticed, people come in all shapes and sizes and they're all beautiful. She quickly realized that there is no fast fix or a healthy way to get the model look. Another big theme in these shows is that being a tomboy is going to make boys uninterested in you. This message hurts young girls who may not want to physically express their femininity in a stereotypical way, and it could make them feel like they need to change themselves, even if they like the way that they are. In Hannah Montana, Miley convinced Lily to change her look and act more like how she believes a girl should act which in this case is weak and fragile, so she can get a boy to ask her out. Hello. Hey, hey new girl. Where'd you come from? Hot Sylvania. Shut up, Nick. It's me. Whoa. The new girl sounds kind of like Lily. Wow. It is Lily. What happened to you? You look fine. Really? <laughs> totally. Yeah. Um, books. Books. <laughs> Oh my, these books are so heavy. <laughs> In the end, Lily goes back to her old look when she found out the boy didn't like the new Lily anyway. Another example of this is the character Max in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, who is considered less of a girl because of the way that she dresses. Zack kissed a girl! Zack kissed a girl! It wasn't a girl, it was Max! And, and I didn't kiss her, she kissed me. Just like in Hannah Montana, she ends up wearing a dress in order to gain the attention of a boy who was otherwise uninterested. In an episode of Lizzie McGuire, Lizzie beats out all of the boys in a chin-up competition and then joins them in other sports and games because of her newfound strength. Even though she's having a great time, her fear of being treated of less of a girl causes her to give up football and work on her image instead. Marina, everybody thinks that I'm a guy. Ethan called me a total dude, and Thomas said it was a monster. Lizzie, maybe you're a guy girl. But that's just it, Miranda. No guy is ever going to want to take me on a date or to dances or to the movies or anything. The guys will high-five me, but they won't hold my hand. Maybe I could be more of a girly girl. Good idea. Lizzie in the end realizes that she overreacted, and although still self-conscious, she goes back to playing with the boys. Until the episode is over and she returns to the way she was before. In this episode of Hannah Montana, 
Miley's Aunt Dolly is in town for the week and decides to redecorate the male-dominated home with a feminine touch. Miley's brother Jackson and their father Billy Ray become offended by their masculinity being threatened. This is not good. Oh, what's the matter with you? Aunt Dolly, I smell like a petunia. <laughs> what did you wash this stuff in? Well, just a little fabric softener and a whole lot of love. <laughs> you got anything to say to the folks back home? Well, sure. Hey, everybody, when the guys get a whiff of me, I'm gonna get beat up today. <laughs> Bye! This scene very obviously shows how they perceive gender and how they feel being a man can somehow be threatened as something as small as fabric softener. I'm losing my manly essence. There's only one thing we can do, son. Let's go to the gym and fight back with the one thing she can't take from us. Our man stink. <laughs> oh, Dad, could we maybe do it tomorrow? Aunt Dolly buffed my nails and I don't want to ruin them. Do you hear yourself, son? Oh no, get me to the gym fast! The shows I chose to focus on today are the ones that I grew up watching when I was younger. So we can only hope that the Disney Channel realizes the pressures of conforming to gender stereotypes present in their TV shows, and they can work to improve the future generations of television. Thank you for watching.